What are meme coins? So that's the newest craze to hit the markets. Dogecoin was the original meme coin. Uh, Shiba Inu was right up there. Meme coins, like NFTs are volatile. NFTs would be a form of a meme. A meme is more so like Pepe, where it can go super viral um, very quickly. Pepe with the meme is basically they can take this image and they can put it on pretty much anything. So you hear about a lot of this, you know, tokens that are not so, you don't even want to say it. <laughs> Never mind buy it sometimes, but they pump like crazy. So, you know, these get a little bit more emotional to say the least it's driven by retail you know you can see how they got all the different faces the different images you know they're playing off some of the other stuff right like it's it's a <laughs> it's very popular amongst the younger generation let's just say that so people that express themselves with memes uh there's quite a while on facebook that's that's how i comment to people for instance it's like i share a meme or something <laughs> like you know it's uh not something I'm super excited to invest in, for sure. Um, the one thing that was brought up was the, the wallets as well. So the balance across the wallets. Uh, it's not the worst I've seen, but it's definitely not the best either. We start looking at who has what and, you know, Binance, OKX, MXC, you know, Huobi have the largest percentage. There is this wallet here that we want to keep an eye on some of these ones at one percent or a little bit more you know they got large bags they got big bags you want to definitely keep an eye on them so if we look at dogecoin on this it gets much more obvious of why we need to be very careful it doesn't give us the percentages but you can calculate it out with people the top wallets you know basically they own a significant percentage so 33 billion out of 139 billion so i mean you can do the math on that but <laughs> you know roughly 15 to 20 percent satoshi wallet holds a million bitcoin too so it's not if it doesn't move it's not a problem it's a lot of supply that's locked up but when it moves that's where we want to be more cautious so that's where on-chain analysis really comes in handy mm -hmm.